Hallelujah. is to our God. Every praise. Glory to God. Lord, we praise you today. Every praise. Oh, God, for every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Heavenly Father, God, we praise you. Thank you for everyone that have traveled this way across the highways, and you have brought us safely together. Now, God, let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. For you are indeed our God, our Savior, our Redeemer. For this we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And you can be seated in the house of God. God bless your hearts today. Like uh, Lyndon Bain Johnson, I'll never forget I was a young boy, but I remember he said, I come today with a heavy heart. And... Uh, uh, it's not because our, our, our country is going through some unique changes. But I thank God for Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Oh, he is definitely the answer. Church, I, I got to come down. I like to be close to the ones I love. Back in the day, I would slow drag. But this, <laughs> the day I'm going to preach. We're very excited. This message is powerful. This is powerful. This is, this is powerful. I, I'm saying that because uh, I've been saved over 40 years. Over 40, yeah, I'm over 40 years old. And I cut my teeth on law preaching, law gospel preaching. I cut my teeth on it. And, uh, and I'm, I'm going to share some things with you that's going to... If you had a pen and paper, it would be good because some of the stuff you need to jot down. Uh, because we're going to be coming in. A, I can't finish this in, in five settings. It's going to take me a minute uh, to do this. I'm going to give the subject of all the various texts that we'll be using. So I can pin this and so Crystal can keep bringing it to my remembrance. Being good is not being born again. Being good is not being born again. I want to, first of all, share some things with you that cause me to believe. I'm still dealing with the way I believe. I was one of the categories, maybe you might fit in it, uh, I believe that if you were going to get anything, you had to work for it. How many out there are the work for it crew? If you're going to get something, you go to work for it. That's why I have a very difficult time when people are looking for just a handout. But that's my mentality. You've got to understand, my mentality was I worked from the day I can remember work. I mean, I was a young boy when I started working. It, it was imperative in our family unit that if you were a part of the crew you were my mom she's not here she's I think she's not she is here I didn't see her there so she, she ain't there she ain't here so but they would get us up early I'll never forget it I dread summer when summer came, I, it was like, it wasn't a vacation, no break for me. I, uh, my brothers would attest, we worked. They would get us up before the sun rose and brought us home when the sun was going down. We worked seven days a week. If The only time we were off is when it rained, and it better rain hard. My aunt was the type of person that started the crew that if it didn't lighten and thunder, you worked. When it started light, I used to pray for lightning and thunder. Lord, let it thunder. <laughs> let the lightning rain. <laughs> Everybody get on the truck. We're going home. I, I used to, yeah, glory to God. 
I worked when it was hot. I worked in the cold. I cut carrots, picked tomatoes, potatoes, strawberries, blueberries, cranberries if I could have gotten the bog. But uh, so my mentality is you work. And if you don't work, <laughs> you don't eat. Now, there's also another crew. The other crew is, I deserve it. I deserve it, crew. That's a lot of the younger people today. They just deserve it. They deserve it. You don't know why you deserve it, but you just deserve it. Our system, our system is a very unique system. If you do any study, you really need to study our history. You need to study, the, the, the especially the depression state, uh, stage of our country was crazy. It was a very tight situation. People shared. They did things that was definitely not the norm of today per se. But we believed in helping everybody. Everybody got to help one another. And I believe that. I believe, you know, that God. Jesus said something that was profound. He said, the poor will be with you always. And, uh, but then there's the other one is that you owe me. The owe me crew. You owe me. I, I many, many times I was on my job and uh, I got indignant. They owe me. Yeah, they owe me. Well, if I worked there, uh, there was times that they had followed me. They might have said, we don't owe you as much as we paying you. But, you know, <laughs> y'all know the deal. You, you've been with me. You know what I'm talking about. And, and so that's why it is so difficult for me to understand grace versus law. I'm a law type God. I'm a law. I'm a law. How many law type people out there? Just a law man. I'm a law man. I believe in the law. So I started reading. I want to go to, first of all, in the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, this is really profound because. If you go in the second chapter of the book of Genesis, there's Mama and that nice little blue. There's Mama. Glory to God. I, I was going to take a little break. It's amazing. Daddies don't even matter no more. Daddy didn't show up. Oh, well. But Mama better be home. Mama, Mama. I, I, I'm going to say this real quick. Pat, I'm taking the grandbaby. Or I'm driving the grandbaby. And uh, I, I said, where are we going? My mom's house. My name's on the D, too. Why well, come pop pop in my mom's house? I'm like, my mom's house. Every time they come, we're going to my mom's house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Until I got there, then I realized it was my mom's house. And I'm right. how many men know I'm telling the truth? That's my mom's house. You just, you just like one of the kids. You just live there. Amen. Jesus, in the book of, of Genesis, as the... The God Spirit began to pen this book. Here's what he said in the in the second chapter. I read it the last time I ministered. It says, and out of the ground, this is the second chapter. I'm going to hit the ninth verse. And out of the ground, the Lord God made every tree grown that is pleasant to the sight, uh, to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden. And the tree of the knowledge, say with me, the knowledge of good and evil. In the 15th verse, I'm going to jump down and said, Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to take care of it, to tend it. And the Lord God commanded, commanded means, I'm telling you this is what I'm telling you not to do. I'm telling you. It's my tree. I'm telling you. And here's what he said. He said, I told the man, of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat you of it, you're going to do what? You're going to die. You're going to surely. It's, now, when God says surely, that means it's going to do it. It's what it is. I want you, if you would, do, do me something. Do, do something. You can just do this if you want. Do it if you, it's up to you. But for the tree, I want you to put for the one tree, the tree of, of, of life is grace. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil put the law, the law tree. 
God gave the law. He really put the law in place when he put the tree in place. Because how many of y'all know the difference between good and evil? How, how many of y'all know? Raise your hand. Look at me. Come on. How many of y'all know if it's good or if it's evil? Bad? But I, when I was a baby, mama started teaching me good and bad. I'll never forget it. Don't eat out of the, don't eat the cookies. That wasn't good. Not for me it wasn't because cookies are good. How are you going to tell me not to eat them when they're good? No, but you're telling me not to eat them. Oh, y'all looking at me laughing. How many of y'all know I'm telling you, don't eat all that candy? Candy's good. You tell me don't eat it all. I'm going to eat as much as I can eat. Because it's good. Don't eat all the ice cream. It's amazing. But I did find out it ain't good because it ain't good. Y'all hear me? It ain't as good as you think it is. But so God knew that we would have a difficult problem understanding good and evil. Because we do. How many of y'all do bad stuff and you still feel good about it? Y'all, come on, can y'all, can, y'all look at me, what? Yeah, you do bad stuff, but you feel good doing it, y'all. Uh, y'all in this house, y'all, look, this is y'all can share with me day. Y'all can talk to me. I don't want to feel like I'm just in this cookie by myself. Mama, my hand wasn't only clean in the jar. Rango and them was in there with me. Now, look, look, how many of y'all have done bad stuff yes, sir. and felt good doing it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on now. Sitting up there like, Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not, I don't feel good to just say something bad about something. I feel good now. I feel better. How many of y'all had something on your mind and it wasn't good, but you felt better after you got it off? Yes, sir. Come on. But it wasn't good that you got it off, but you did it, it y'all. I want to read to you something about Mr. Law. Mr. Law is very non-forgiving. Mr. Law is non-forgiving, nor will he help you. The law doesn't help you as far as help you overcome what he's telling you to do. Y'all help me here. The speed limit is 55 miles an hour. It's there, 55. I'm driving. That sign don't say, man, you breaking the law. It just stays there and shows me. 55. I'm cruising. The man comes out. Woo! Oh, man. He walks up and says, sir, do you know why I'm pulling you over? I'm going to feel good, so I'm going to lie. That eased my conscience. No, sir. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. How many of y'all have ever been pulled over and told the truth? Sir, do you know why I'm pulling you over? No, sir. (laughs) Sir, you were speeding. No, I couldn't have been. Something must be wrong with my speedometer. (laughs) I blame my speedometer, man. Glory to God. Look, here's what the Mr. Law says. Y'all with me with Mr. Law. Mr. Law says in the 20th chapter of the book of Leviticus, the Levitical chapter, in the 20th verse, and I'm going to start, I mean in the 20th chapter, I'm going to start at the 8th verse if I can. And the Lord, and he, and he said, you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who does what? Sanctifies me, I'll get you right. Get you right. This is going to get you right. Now look at it, he said, for everyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely... Be put to death. How many of y'all should have been dead? Mm. You might not curse them to the face, but you curse them. Now they curse you to your face. Ain't no more cursing you. You know, they just curse you right to your face. They'll call you what they want to call you. Now, if we were to pop them right then, bam! Would you be right? By law. Y'all looking at me like, you better not smack them now. Ain't that deep? Can I go on with Mr. Law? Mr. Law, Mr. Law said, and he said, and the man who commits adultery, 
with another man's wife. He who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall only be put to death. <laughs> Glory to God. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely do what? Kill him. That man in Corinthians, Paul just said, put him out. <laughs> They're supposed to pop him. Bam! Uh, 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 uh. Let's go on. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be. Oh, if a man lies with a male as with a woman, oh, gee, money Christmas, both of them, bam, bam. Can I keep rolling? If a man, if a, if a, no, 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 both of them, they surely shall be in their blood on them. If a, if a man marries a woman and her mother, whoa. If a man marries a woman and his mom, God bless his heart. I'm going to take both. It's a family affair. God bless his heart. Look, look. It is wickedness. They shall be burnt. Don't shoot them. Burn them. Burn them. Both of them. All three of them. And they what? That there may be no wickedness among you. If a man mates with an animal, God bless his heart. (laughs) <laughs> little sheep guy. Bam! Him and the sheep. Take them both out. The man and the sheep. The goat. The dog. The cat. Uh, y'all laughing, but y'all be surprised. Y'all laughing. Yeah. yeah. Can I read? If a woman approach any animal and meets with it. Now, you see, y'all, y'all reading this. And it's happening. Y'all like, ooh. Can I read? If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and seek her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He who uncovers his sister's nakedness, he shall bear his guilt. If a man lies with a woman during her sickness and uncover her nakedness, he has exposed her flow. And she has uncovered her flow. That means her time of the month. I'm going to take them both out. Y'all looking like, whoa. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, uh, he has uncovered his uncle's name. My God. Y'all looking like, what in the what Now. 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 Abraham and Sarah. I don't want you marrying one of these crew. Go get a relative. Y'all, come on, y'all help me. Y'all. I wish somebody was in this book with me. Let's get in this book. When Jacob left, no, matter of fact, Abraham was up against the gun with Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, who's this wonderful, beautiful young lady? That's my sister. That's my sister. But it was really his wife's sister. <laughs> wife's sister. He a double hit, double relative. Right? His sister, wife, mother, daughter, cousin, brother, sister. So, y'all reading it. Are y'all with me? See, we have a, our own define of law. God put this in the garden, church. It was on the tree. That's why he told the man, when you eat it, you ain't going to understand this. Because if you understood this, you would understand me. But you really don't understand me. See, the reason why I told you not to eat, because when you do it, sin's going to kill you. But you're going to eat it, and you're going to die. See, our misconception of we have a define of who God is. 
church, I'm going to tell you what, God is pure as pure can get. And there's only a certain area. Uh, anything outside that area is sin. It's sin. That's why he told man, don't eat because once you eat, you ain't going to get it right. Look at somebody say, you'll never make it right. You can't make it right because I'm God. I'm in a whole different category. How are you going to come back to my category without me being the categories? I love that word. You've got to understand that the only way you're going to get to me is by me. You ain't, once you cross that line, ain't no coming back. Adam didn't understand this at all. He was sharp, but he wasn't that sharp. I want to tell you why he wasn't that sure. Because God put a part of us in him that's godly. See, God, God, see, I want to tell you what. I don't care how low you might get, but there's always a part of you that just say, oh, man. Oh. I, I, I'm going to tell you all something, church. That's why I make my own call even though I'm in slavery. You might chain me down, but right here, I'm going to make my move, man. As soon as I get a break, I'm gone. That's why I've seen people married for life. Until they get old enough to say, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. What in the world? Because right here, I felt like I was captured. See, there's a part of us. How many of y'all walked off a job? Just because something told you, I'm done with y'all. Forget this. I'm out of here. Then when you get to get home, Daddy, you still got a job? Oops. <laughs> Oops, Daddy. <laughs> Oops. That pride. That He said, I call you gods, but you will die like men. Then he said it. You, you, I called you God. Jesus said, I call you in the book of Psalms. I call you God, but you will die like men. Can I go on with this? This is deep. I, I've, 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 I haven't even broke the crust. This bread, this bread, this bread deep, man. Now look. Now look here. Can I give you all a few illustrations? Wrote them down here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we read that a man who commits adultery with another man's wife, the man, he's supposed to be dead. David and Bathsheba should have killed him. Rightfully, David should have died if we have gone by the law. Who gave him a break? God did. You know, <laughs> David was like, gee, really Christmas? But man... Because uh, Nathan was sharp. Nathan said, well, I ain't going to tell him. I ain't going to hit him straight up with this truth because he might kill me. So then he going up with, if a man had, man had just a little, he, he said, how old is she? And, 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 but he went and stole this man, little you sheep, stole his sheep and killed him. David said, that man will be killed. He said, you the man. <laughs> he didn't say like, you the man. He said, you're the man. <laughs> David wouldn't start pending. He wouldn't did that 51st Psalm. You read it. He said, my God, I got to pin something here so God can see this. You read that 54th Psalm. Against you only have I sinned, Lord. And Lord, Lord, created me a clean heart, renew the right spirit within me. <laughs> It'll make you break you down like a double barrel shotgun, pop out both shells, and make you understand that you need, you load, you running totally unloaded. How many know what I look, look, David's son Amnon took his sister and raped her. David and the crew should have went right to the castle, to his home, and popped him in. Should have took him out right there. He threw her out. Nasty story. I mean, just a downright trifling. Oh, don't blame Absalom. Absalom was tight. Y'all got to read this. I'm telling you. See, y'all, y'all, yeah, for those that know what I'm talking about, uh, uh, Right, I'll give you the chapter so you can go home and read it. Because uh, so, I know I'm looking at you're looking at me. Uh, I wrote it down the second in the second book of Solomon of Samuel. Um, I didn't write that one down, so you got to go to the second book of Samuel. You find it. Crystal might find it for you. Whatever. But look, he goes in there and rapes his sister. 
He, he, he didn't love her. The Bible said that he loved her until he raped her. Then he hated her as much as he loved her. Now, this is bad. She said, well, look, you done already raped me. Why? What you going to do? I'm throwing you out. He kicks her out there. Get out. Lock the door. Now she out there, totally violated. She crying. Where am I going to go? She ain't going to daddy's house. She went to her brother's house. Absalom said, don't worry about it, baby. We got this. Oh, we got this. We know what the law says. Daddy might not do it, but, but brother, big brother, you let brother take care of it. He's going to kill him. He sure enough did. Took him out. Now, let me run. Look, look. look. Let, me read, let, me read, let me read one right quick. 27th chapter, verse of the 20th chapter. If a man or a woman who is a medium or who has familiar spirits shall surely be put to death, God, they shall surely. Y'all couldn't read all these horoscopes. Y'all just, y'all right in there with that medium. What sign are you? I am the sign of Aquarius, sign of Aquarius. Aqu what are you, a Libra? A Libra, I'm a Libra. Libra. Now, I'm going to say this. Back then, we'd have killed y'all. Y'all did with all this horoscope stuff, but we, we can't mess with you now. We just let y'all write in newspapers and stuff and get away with it. But no, I'm not messing with you. Y'all see the deal? Y'all with me? Glad you're with me. Mr. Law has also did this to me, not to you, but to me, because the law versus grace, the law have made me righteous, but not God-righteous, but self-righteous. See, self-righteous is I can judge you. See, I can judge you. I can judge you and get away with it. And the reason why I can get away with it because I can find something on y'all, every one of you. Even my grandbaby, she hollering back there, hollering in the church. I should have spanked him when I got out there. <laughs> I'll find something on all of you. Give me enough time, I'll dig the dirt. Y'all hear me? I'll get in your closet. Mm hmm. Yeah. How many of y'all know somebody? If I need to dig up, I can dig up. How many of y'all, y'all with me? Oh, ain't none of y'all that squeaky clean. No. I've never, I've been immaculate conceived, Pastor. The Holy Ghost conceived me. I'm, I, I have done no wrong. I have told no lies. I've never lied. Well, you just lied. <laughs> See, Neil, you, you can't get away from this thing. We are all in a unique thing. Say, I'm in a unique thing. If I was judged, really judged by the law, I'm just damned. Yes. Yes. I've done enough stuff just reading down the list. Yeah. And, and church, just, I want to show you right. We have taken right and made it so wrong that we don't know what's right or what's wrong. See, there was a time, young people, I'm going to talk to y'all. Young people, there was a time that our parties were chaperoned because they knew us. They knew. They knew. Do you leave us alone? It's like a rat, a, a mouse with cheese. Tell him don't eat it. You better cut his mouth off. <laughs> How many know I'm telling the truth? But now, but now, oh, baby, my mom and dad going down the shore, y'all have a party. Or you don't tell them to have a party. Oh, they going to have one. Mom and dad's gone, man. They're going to be gone for two days. We got this. Call, call, boop, boop. Then here, now we, before, we had to boop, boop, boop. Now you hit a max tax. What do you put? Everybody got it. Camden, Atlantic City, Sicklerville, New York, everybody. You got folk coming to your house you never even thought. You were, that man, we heard the party at Simmons' house. I remember back in the day, we had a hotline. We said, Simmons going to have a party. That, that line was fire. But well, now they knew. Well, we had jokers coming to our party. We were thinking, okay, that little hill, that little hill, people were coming. What in the world? Uncle Bunny would make the punch. Uncle Bunny would make the punch. Uncle Bunny had that part boiling. Blah, 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 blah. You just sampled. Oh, Bernard Punch. We had folk. You knew all you needed was a, a CD, not a, what is that thing? A, 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 a record player? Huh? 
You ain't need no food. And Uncle Bunny's punch, we had it. Glass Pearl. Camden started coming, we had to back him off. Camden, you're coming too far. Back off, back off. Atlantic City, back off. This is just our crew. Williamstown, Clayton, Glassboro. Ty, you remember glory to God down there, 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 there we used to say. Hallelujah, group, we down there singing. We couldn't even pack. We had so many people in that cellar, they hanging out the window. Had them in line, am I right, Ty? We down there playing. We were the, we were the main attraction. People all up and down the road. More steam car windows than the law allowed. And there wasn't steam because they were taking a nap. How many know what I'm talking about? Huh? By law! By law! We could have went boom! Every window! Boom! Boom! By law! It's in the book! It's in the book! Thank God! Y'all, y'all better stop. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Mr. Law will take you out. Mr. Law, let's talk. I ain't got no more time. I'm done. I'll get back with y'all next time. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just a little bit. How much? Uh, about a minute? Do I have a minute? Let's do a minute. Let's do a minute. I got four minutes. Look, thank you. Timekeepers again. <laughs> Touch not my anointed to do my prophet no harm. Boom, take her out. <laughs> I had to do, I had to do, I had to. She opened herself to that one. Sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Oh, keep me, keep, keep me, keep me. Keep me by the cross. Look, Romans the sixth chapter. What shall you say then? Shall we continue in sin that what? Grace may abound. Certainly not. How shall we who are dead to sin live any longer in it? Or how do you know? Or, or do you not know that as many as were baptized until Christ, Je Christ Jesus were baptized into what? His death. Therefore, we were buried. Say buried. buried. With him through baptism unto what? And that just as Christ was risen from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall do what? Walk. The newness of life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that part to the next time we minister because i got to do this real quick. Can I do this real quick? Yes, sir. Uh, then we go to the 14th verse. I'll, I'll get back to this later. For sin shall, uh, the 14th verse of the sixth chapter. For what? Sin shall not have dominion. How huh? for you are under, but. Now let me explain that to you. Let me explain that to you because it blew my mind. Even though you sin, born again, you are not under sin, but grace covers that. Yeah, I'm going to say that again because you didn't grab that. Even though you sin, because you do, we do. When we sin, we're no longer under law. We're under grace because Jesus, oh my God, help me here. Let me, let me go here. Let me go here because this is deep. It blew my mind. It made me feel like I had a license to sin. Thank you, God. Stamp it. I'm going to ramp it. See the deal? Let me cover this. Can I cover this? Yes, Look at this here. I'm going to read this real quick. Look at this here. Law is perfect. The Bible said that. Because God gave it. But here's what happened. Because law made no provisions. Whatever. Whatsoever. No provisions. We were making provisions, but the law made no provisions. Because David should have been killed. Abraham didn't lie. He did. But God did not count what he did, he count who he was. God don't look at what you do, he look at who you. I have children. My children have got on my last pinch nerve. I've never disowned one. I've never. Now there's laws that tell me what I should do, I should do for my kids. I've never had to go and read any law 
pertaining to my kids. I did what I was supposed to do because that's what I do. If my, if an earthly father, glory to God, who you have, can give good gifts unto his children, how much, much more does the heavenly father give? See, the thing of it is, God knows I do for my kids because that's who I am. God, God, let me read this again. Let me go here. So here we are under the law. And the law, now this is crazy. Because when I read it, it made no sense, but I'm going to read it again and it makes sense. In the seventh chapter of Romans, the first verse, or do you not know, brethren, for I speak to those who know the law, that the law has dominion over a man, what? As long as he lives. That's a fact. Now, for a woman, now I want to use an allegory. This is a comparison of what I'm going to say. For a woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as what? Oh, Jesus, I felt that. Huh? Somebody said read. read. But if the husband dies, she is released from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband lives, she's married, she's married another man, she will be called an... Uh, but if the husband dies, she is free from the, that law, so that she is no... Though she was married to another man. Now, I'm going to just help you all because some people are popping all over the place. Now, here you Divorce law, divorce law has somewhat given us a freedom of law. But I'm going to say this, God's law. Now, I know y'all looking at me, what in the world are you talking about? That's why we're under grace. <laughs> Let me get back to this book because, oh, look at this here. Y'all ready for this? Now, let me explain this. So as long as my law husband live, I'm under it. So how do I get out from under my law husband? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, see, see what I see, 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 see what we had, son. <laughs> like, they want to take folk out. I don't know. You can't kill him because he's perfect. He's right. You can't kill him. He's right. Now, now, look. Here's what God. Look, look. Mr. Law has been. Look. Meanwhile, in eternity, God looks down on us. He is thinking so much, much, he is thinking how much he would like for us to be his wife. I, I, I see y'all got another husband. Ah, I, I want you. Lord knows I want you. Because God, I'm God, so I know I want you. <laughs> Lord knows he is. Lord knows I want you. Look, look, look. Oh, if I were married to you, mm. I would treat you differently. Mm. I might say I would simply love you and wouldn't demand of you, especially when I knew you can't do it. See the deal? Now look at this here. Now look at what God did. This is deep. Y'all ready for this? I'll give it to you next week. <laughs> four minutes up, love, right? Got four more. Okay, look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this here. I would simply love you. and not be, so, so, so Mr. Law had been, uh, a, 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 and it's been a problem. It's been nagging you. It's been on you. You were born married to Mr. Law. When Adam sinned, law seed became automatically a part. Because he was under it, we're under it. Now look at this here. So, so from this eternal vantage point, God devised a plan. Say a plan. A plan. A plan. A plan. God devised a plan. In order to get you out of the marriage to Mr. Law. Because I, I can't kill him. <laughs> look, look, look. I can't kill him. Look, look. He planned to carry out a death. Some, something got to die. Something got to die in order to sever the relationship. It wasn't law that died, but instead God worked it out so that you die. 
Y'all with me? I die. How did it happen? God placed me into Jesus. God, bless my heart. God placed me. Somebody say place me into Jesus. Look, look, look. On the cross. There the person who was married to law died. Then after you, after your death, he allowed you to be born again. Yeah, but look, yeah, look, 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 look. Y'all, 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 y'all with me. You must be born again. So, look, 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 look. In this newness of life, you are married to grace. So now... You're no longer under law, but you're under grace. My new, hus- my new husband is great. So now I obey grace. See, the difference in uh, being under the law, the law will make you sin. I don't care what you say. Because don't keep telling me what I can't do. Because the more you tell me what I can't do, it's going to drop. I'll talk about that next time. God bless your heart. I have it in a whole nother chapter. God bless you. Did you learn something? We're done. Oh, Jesus. Stick a fork in us. We're done.